Hi, I'm Bobby Crispy. I've had a lot of people ask me for tips and ideas for writing a heavy metal song. Well, keep in mind that there are several different styles of heavy metal music, like thrash metal, industrial metal, 80s hair metal, also known as poodlehead metal, neoclassical metal, and on and on. So I'll try to focus on heavy metal music in general. So it's anything though that makes you want to bang your head or chest and uh, make you want to do this. Okay, so I can't write a heavy metal song for you, but I can give you some ideas to get you started. Uh, first of all, there's the, uh, the power chords off the uh, A string, the fifth string, so that's open position. Uh, second fret, third, fifth, seventh fret, eighth, tenth fret, and twelfth. So you could try writing a, a chord progression off of that, like. And when you do that, try to incorporate the open A string along with it. So open, then a chord. Then try uh, the same thing, or you could do the same thing on the open E string. Okay, uh, next you could try the tritone which was considered evil hundreds of years ago. So uh, that would be like... So that would be the top string, fifth fret, and the fifth string, sixth fret. And incorporate that into a riff. That... Also, um, with the rock blues scale, which one played loud and fast and distorted, doesn't sound like blues, but metal, like... So you can add that into the uh, songs too. Um, and when playing chords, try going up one fret, like uh, top string E to F. Second string A to B flat. Or D to E flat. Like that. Okay, as far as rhythm patterns go, um, there's a lot, but I'll show the basics. Uh, there's straight one. One and two and three and four. There's like a, a galloping rhythm, like one and a two and a three and a four. Like. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. Like. Then there's a straight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like. Okay, so as far as writing a heavy metal song goes, make sure you have the distortion on so that'll get you into the right frame of mind. Unless you're writing a ballad or a children's song, you don't want distortion. Okay, and have someone to write with so you can get some feedback and to brainstorm ideas. Uh, same thing with jamming. Sometimes when you jam, uh, great riffs just seem to come out of nowhere. 
So as far as actually writing a song goes, try like uh, start off with a riff, a chord progression, like then try to think in your mind what would sound right when it comes next, like. Or uh, try going somewhere randomly, like. It might fit. Okay, and here's my link to my heavy metal soloing tips. One and two. Okay, uh, I hope that was helpful. And thanks for watching.